So this is the absolute biggest NVIDIA GPU sale that I've ever seen. This is going to come from EVGA. I'm just going to show it to you guys right at the beginning. And we're going to talk about which ones you should never get and which ones maybe you shouldn't get anyway because RTX 4000 is coming out. doesn't matter how good these prices are. Wait a little bit more. They're getting actually really desperate. NVIDIA even released some of their financial data today, and it was absolutely disastrous. Their sales that they blamed on the gaming market declined, which is a little bit disingenuous because everybody knows it's cryptocurrency uh, mining demand or even you know rigs being sold online and things like that on the secondhand market therefore they really have to be a little more transparent or else it just seems like all right gaming is dying again or gaming demand is dropping and that's really not true everything coincided with the decline of cryptocurrency so this is from evga they're having a massive sale as much as a thousand dollars off some gpus and by some gpus i mean the 3090 ti as good as that gpu is as a piece of hardware and it is pretty good i mean the vram is much better than on the 3090 it's the fastest gpu you can get absolutely nobody thought it was a good idea to release it during this time um, i guess aside from nvidia and its aiv partners definitely did not sell very well at all it used to be over two thousand dollars or right around that mark now down to as low as 11.99 that's pretty crazy that's a thousand dollars off a gpu that just came out in january January. That means somebody was taking advantage of the, the system here somewhere, and it's definitely not the consumer to have $1,000 off within a few short months of its release. That's definitely very disconcerting. But all right, you may not care about the 3090 Ti, but that's going to push the price of everything else down even further. I still don't think it's a good idea to buy anything now, but as you guys have seen, these prices have gone down a lot. Some YouTubers, I know Jay's two cents. I mean, I like his content myself but recently he said that people should buy the gpu and this was during one of the the last price drops that actually evga had where the 3090 ti was down to like 1500 dollars. he said that people should buy because it's going to be the cheapest that it's going to go he heard from some insider in the industry or something like that we have seen that that's been pretty wrong the price went down even further and i think as we get even closer to rtx 4000 it's going to continue to go down so don't buy anything even though that looks like a decent deal if you don't know what's going on in the market it's still terribly overpriced because you're going to get rtx 4000 which presumably is going to outperform most of the rtx 3000 lineup we're just not too sure what pricing they may come in at but even if you don't want rtx 4000 rtx 3000 is going to go on a fire sale as we get closer and closer to that release date let's go down the line a little bit at 899 evga will sell you a 3080 ti in regular times that's an awesome price i mean everybody used to love the regular 30 3080 at 699 so a 3080 ti for 899 that's really the price it should have been in the beginning the problem is we are not at the beginning we are two years after the release of rtx 3000 and this comes a little bit too late just a little too short a little too late still a great gpu if you got it even cheaper on the second hand market if you bought one for 500 bucks i would not blame you that's going to be great for years to come but at 899 i would still wait for rtx 4000 of course, with the caveat that there could be another shortage out of nowhere, um, a little surprise shortage, who knows if that may happen again, um, you know, making these GPU prices go up exponentially again, that's out of the control of everybody. But as logic would dictate, if we follow regular patterns and not the crazy world we've been living in, you would say that prices will continue to go down and 899 for a 3080 Ti sounds pretty good but it's still a little bit too high unless you just want a gpu and you don't care i would sort of steer clear of buying anything like that now wait a little longer because that gpu is going to get down even further i've seen even 3090s approach 899 so have a little bit more patience it's going to go down even further than it is now so as we reach the pricing on the rtx 3080 that's where we start to see a more major problem it's really having a hard time going below its original MSRP. $699 for a 3080 is a price that Nvidia doesn't seem very willing to go underneath because they know they're going to have to price a 4080 much higher than that, or at least at that point or higher. If you guys have noticed here, it's really been the high-end GPUs that took an absolute beating in terms of their price slashing. We're talking about the 3090 Ti, $1,000 off, literally like half its MSRP almost. 3090 is basically non-existent in some of these prices. 
pricings, but that went down basically half its MSRP as well in a lot of cases, especially on the secondhand market. 3080 Ti, a significant discount. You saw that right there, 899. It used to be at least 1199 MSRP, and these third-party AIB models were considerably more than 1200 bucks. As we get to the 3080, it's still much cheaper than it was before. Remember, a 3080, especially a 12 gigabyte, was as high as 12 to 1300 dollars last year. Some models even going up as high as 1500 dollars. And yes, Asus Strix, I'm looking at you, way overpriced. Now, Technically, it's kind of like half the price, but it still had a hard time going under the 699 MSRP that it should be. So this trend is going to follow as we look at 3070 Ti's and 3070's as well. These are some of the more popular GPUs that people really like. Of course, 3070, 499, you're still going to find it somewhere around there and the $500 range. Seems like those GPUs did not go down nearly as much as the big GPUs. So if you wanted something that had great price to perform, performance long term, you should definitely avoid 3090 Ti's and 3080 Ti's and probably go for a 3070, honestly, because that barely went down in price in terms of its original MSRP. Of course, 3070s, especially the non-light hash rate ones, were selling as high as $1,100, $1,200 last year. So this is a price break from that, but that was never their MSRP. 1999 was the MSRP of the 3090 Ti, and we see it here for 1199 which is a massive price cut. So maybe that's a good lesson to learn in the future. If you get something that just has great price to performance and it's already priced pretty fairly in the market, like a 499 3070, it's not going to take as much of a beating when the prices get slashed. If you want to go towards the very high end, just keep in mind, much like an exotic car or something like that, you're going to lose a considerable amount of money compared to if you get something a little bit more mid range. Of course, now you're going to lose out on that massive performance that you do get with a 3090 Ti. If that's something that fits your use case, but just keep in mind if price to performance is your priority, that's not going to be the place to look. And while you can find some 3070s for slightly under their MSRP, under that 499 mark, 3060s and 3060 Ti's, sometimes they rather not even sell them, it was harder to find them on sale, rather than see them take a really big price cut. Those, even though a 3060 Ti should be 399 or thereabouts, you'll still readily find them in that $400 range, sometimes as high as $500 depending on the model. Same for the 3060, it should be maybe 329 or even a little lower at this point, but they're still going for a fairly high price compared to their original MSRP. So those GPUs are going to be the last ones to be replaced. If RTX 4000 comes out this year, that means that RTX the 4090 is going to be the first one we're likely to see, maybe in October. So maybe we're only really within one to two months away from some type of announcement or release. And as soon as that's announced, even not even released, even if it's a paper launch, prices of RTX 3000 are going to absolutely plummet. And you'll be able to get a 3090 Ti if it's 1190 now only imagine what deal you'll be able to scoop up on one of those in a few months might go as low as 800 700 dollars who knows meaning that everything else is going to get absolutely squished under that pricing pressure including 3080s and 3070s which so far have shown some resistance in that sort of their original msrp mark and they certainly haven't gone down as much as they have so the lesson here is this is the biggest sale we've seen but it comes a little bit too late and it just looks like they're trying to offload their inventory and we know they're sitting on a lot of stock they're trying to offload it before rtx 4000 comes out and coupled with nvidia's terrible sales numbers recently they're definitely a lot of trouble in the water for them and as the consumer now we just wait until you really get a great deal on one of the products that you want or wait for the newer generation to come out and see if that fits the bill for you a little bit better so remember hold off from now we're really close to something new coming and prices are likely to go down even more i think unless something you know crazy happens and it has happened during the last few months, but most likely, well, most logical conclusion is that prices will continue to plummet and then you can pick up whatever you want at a much better price. The control will be back in the consumer's hand after two years of really, really tough GPU markets. All right, guys, so let me know what you think down below. Remember to subscribe, smash that like button, and I'll see you guys on the next video.